Okay, my name's Alastair, and I am building a guitar. If you look here, excuse my dodgy camera work. Now, I, um, a while ago, I bought myself a Stumac guitar kit. It's, it's for a triple O body size, so I am primarily a bluegrass player, bluegrass and folk, so I've got, um, I play like a, a Dreadnought D28 style guitar. So, I don't know, thought I'd try something different. Um, in the past, I, maybe just before Christmas, I finished building a Stumac ukulele kit, which was pretty fun. Um, it was hard and I really messed up. I really had problems with the neck, like making sure it was correctly sitting. Sorry, this is some parts for the guitar, I'm just waving about. Anyway, I had real problems getting the neck to fit the ukulele body. Um, basically, I have no experience of woodwork. Don't really know what I'm doing. Totally learning as we go. So I don't know what I'm doing at all. If you can see here, um, I have glued the um, the sides together with the little neck block there. And here is the block at the bottom. Sorry for my dodgy camera again. Um, Eve, for me, even this little contraption, which is a little brace kind of thing to hold the body together, to keep it like, keep the waist of the guitar in, just like cutting that, measuring out, hard work for me. Recently, my sister bought me a really nice dovetail saw, um, which is quite nice, but even with that, it's hard to cut in a straight line. So this is how much I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm doing all right so far. Um, so, but if you have a look here, does that look that great? I don't know. I'm not sure if it's perfectly together, but we'll see how we go. Um, so yeah, so these are currently, this is cardboard little mold to keep the shape of the guitar. That's glued. Um, this is like curfling, I think is what it's called. So these, I'm about to glue these on. You see that there? about to glue that on I've kind of measured them got them in these are just a little dummy run just like kind of clamped in just to make sure I'm not gonna mess anything up too madly so yeah I'm gonna take the clamps off and then glue these on and I meant to leave them like sitting a tiny bit proud so that we can like I can then afterwards file down them to be absolutely plush with the side of the guitar for when the back, I'll show you this. Look at the back. This is like the wood. This looks pretty good. It's it's meant to be torrified uh, Adirondack. Um, now my main guitar. Let me show you this. This is a beautiful bourgeois acoustic guitar. Um, I basically spent all of my money on this. I couldn't really afford it when I bought it, but I got a good deal. Anyway, it's beautiful. So. I'm used to really beautiful instruments. Also, let me show you, I've been kind of dabbling with instruments, with other instruments, banjos. This is a banjo that I kind of, I, I can't really say properly made, but this is a rim that I bought um, from Ricard Banjos in Canada. And they made the rim and they cut the rim so it could fit a tone ring on. Can you see that brass thing inside? So yeah, the rim arrived pretty blank and I cut the holes in to fit the hardware in and kind of, I was quite proud of myself. This was hard, but I cut the holes and installed the banjo um, coordinator rod, fit the neck. So if you can see this neck here, I'll show you how much I don't really know what I'm doing. So there's some little shims just there. I've had to, because the neck angle was not correct. Now, a really good friend of mine, a guy called Tim, Tim Kent, really knows what he's talking about with banjos, gave me this beautiful neck. It says Gibson on it, but it's not Gibson. I think it's a Recording King neck. Really nice neck. And yeah, that's me. So I kind of cut the neck best I could. It's not great, but it works okay. Works all right. So anyway, I'm kind of dabbling with doing things like this giving it a go. Now my, this is my music room. I've got a quilt 
hanging up here to try and dampen the sound because it's not very good sound in here. I've got these things on the ceiling. Doesn't really do any good. Obviously, due to the corona lockdown, I've been doing music teaching in here online, teaching mandolin, banjo, guitar, ukulele. It's been all right. Had some lovely students. So yeah, but I've now got time to try and make this guitar kit. I sold a Gibson Les Paul guitar. Beautiful gold top. I sold it because I was poor. Um, and then with some of the money I spent on this Stumac Triple O guitar kit. Now the wood is meant to be really good quality. The top and back Torrified Adirondack um, Spruce, I think. Anyway, Torrified, so baked. So it's meant to give it like, um, what do you call it? Like really vintage, a vintage sound, like to really dry out the wood. So you get a dry, old, vintage sound, which is meant to be great. Um, the back, the, the sides are rosewood. So yeah, it should be a really good guitar. Now I'll stick this up on YouTube. I'll probably do better videos. I'll get my fiance Ella to help next time. But this is just an intro. Oh, and let me say, now, most other people who have done video series is, series on uh, making these guitars seem to knock up these contraptions. Like this is used, this is for sanding. So the basically, the back of the guitar here, this is meant to be a five degree angle. Okay, so that's already cut. So I've had to get a long bit of wood and then add a bit on the end at a five degree angle. Now, how do I do that? I don't have any real power tools apart from a nice drill. So everyone else on their videos seem to exactly know what they're doing. Me, on the other hand, I just got a bit of plywood and measured, measured out a line and then cut it with a saw. So, and I think it's pretty five degrees. This looks a bit wonky. So this is, this really is the extent of how much, I don't really know what I'm doing. I don't have a lot of money for buying big tools, big power tools and whatnot, but I'm gonna give it my best shot. And at the end of the day, if the guitar doesn't turn out very well, if I ruin it, I can uh, pay someone to like try and fix it or I f can fix it myself or it's like a, you know, a valuable lesson learned. So obviously from my making my ukulele, I learned a lot of lessons. Um, I think I was a bit too, yeah, I was a bit too quick doing things. Um, so really what I'm gonna try and do is be mindful, take my time, know what I'm doing. Um, but yeah, I'm here to learn and it's a bit of fun and I love instruments. Also, I really love new instruments. I'm always on the lookout for a new instrument. However, I'm poor at the moment. So getting married at some point, we're buying a house, although due to the coronavirus, um, we were meant to move in at the end of next month, but it's gonna be later. So anyway, got a bit of time on my hands, so I'm gonna give this a go. And yes, in the background, that is a pint of Guinness. So I better, maybe I'll stop for this evening. Um, anyway, thanks for watching and I'll do some more videos uh, in, a, in a week or so. Thanks.